So this is my latest um, vintage tool that I restored. And it actually works very nicely now. It was a sprig quick test. And I'll put that together and show you how it works here in a second video. But for now, I'm just going to show you what all I did. I basically went in there, cleaned uh, cleaned all the switches and lubricated them, put some deoxid on them, changed all the capacitors um, and all the resistors to 1% resistors. Uh, the only one I didn't change was that Coulomb. Uh, it's a wire wound 10 watt. Um, the discs there, you know, typically don't need to change those, uh, test them, they were okay. Did replace a disc that was there, the black one, and over here. Um, top side, deoxided all of the tube sockets, uh, transforms in good shape. Put a new I-tube in it, which is that. I'll show you what that is in a second. And, um... Cleaned up the leads, painted the case, polished up the lead there, put a new end on this one, right here, not very good with my focus, and um, I'll put in a second video on here with it assembled, I'll show you. Okay, one. so this video is showing you my new Sprague Quick Test Model KT1 Capacitor Tester uh, from around 1952. I bought this on eBay for I think around twenty nine dollars. Um, knew I had to restore it. Um, and what this does is just a quick test. This does not tell you the value of a capacitor, um, and it doesn't test it really under load per se, because um, capacitors are rated for certain voltages. Um, this particular one here, if I can get in front of the camera, is is a a point one. Um, microfarad is rated at 1600 volts if you were going to really test this thing you'd put it under the under a voltage load all the way up to 1600 to see if it broke down but this is a quick test so really all this is all this is is or this is early electronics now remember this is going to tell you if a capacitor is open or shorted so for example on this one i just showed you if you look at this tube this is called an eye tube and you see it's green it's green neon um and that's the eye and eye is open right now right now um i'm going to take this this good here's the leads these are the two leads i'm going to put this new capacitor on here like that so we're on there and then you'll notice it's on and it's set for shorts for checking for shorts and you press that um, switch there to test for the shorts. Now, if I press it, you see the eye closes. The eye is completely closed. Okay, and as you see here, to test for short, if the eye remained open, it is shorted. If it closes, it's not shorted. If it flutters, it's intermittent. Well, in this case, this this new and it test it closes completely. Now we can test it for an open. Let me set it back down here. Put that on to open and we'll test again hopefully we still see it remains open it's open closes it's not open and if it flutters it's intermittent so this one is good this is brand new I didn't expect it to be bad I got another here's another type this is an orange drop brand new we'll stick it in there Put the other lead on here. Okay. So right now it's still on for open. So it's closed completely, which it should be. We'll move it to short condition. Check. And it closes completely again. Okay. So that's the way it works. Now, those were two good ones. Remember I'm telling you how I've got to change caps. Um, these old wax capacitors, they go bad. So you pretty much got to change them out. All right, so here's one we're going to test. Got it all hooked up here now. And it's set for shorts. So let's see what happens for shorts. 
remains open is open but we're on the shorts test for shorts remains open is shorted it's not even attempting to, to close now let's move it to check for opens okay it's closing so it's not open is shorted pretty cool let's try another one there's one we'll hook up another old one might have even pulled it out this one for all I know okay so we're on the open no it's not closing can you see it if you I don't know how well you can see it but it is moving it's attempting to close but just barely so since we're on an open, remains open, it's open. So this particular one is open. Now let's just put for giggles and grins. Let's put it on for testing for a short. We'll flip it down to short. And it's not shorted. It's open, right? So it's closing. It's closing when I have it for the short test. But it was open on the open. Or it was... Um, open on the open test. Last one this is a big one. I think this came out of a um, VTVM I'm going to restore. Alright, let's see what we get on this one. It's on the short section. We'll see what happens. Alright, it closes so it's not shorted. Let's move it to the open. And it closes for open. And open. It closes. It means it's not open. So this one actually tests good this way. We know it's not shorted. We know it's not open. But it could still be bad. This one, if you were to put it under voltage, this is good to 400 volts DC. It's 0.1. This other one was a point one I had down there. So this one tests okay with this, but it could still be bad under voltage tests. So it is what it is. I just think it's cool, the, the I-tube on there, and I've got it so it's fully functional the way it was when it was new in 52. The other thing I did to it that I mentioned, did not mention the previous one is I did add a fuse, had a two-amp fuse in front, and I put a new power cord on it, a polarized power cord. So... This is good to go. This should last somebody another 50 years. Uh, we'll turn her off. And we're done. Thank you for watching the video.